Welcome back to Penn State Sports Night. I'm Matt McLaughlin alongside John Drager and Eric Fenstermaker, and we'll be breaking down the Heisman Trophy race heading into week nine of the college football season. This season has been one of the most competitive races for the top prize in college football history. So guys, who's looked like the top dog in college football so far? Eric, I'll start with you on this one. Well, Matt, John, it's hard not to have Bryce Young at the top of your Heisman list. Alabama's offense has looked incredible. This season they put up 367 points, the most of any team in all of college football, and this young quarterback has this offense clicking. He has 26 touchdowns on the year, and he's only a sophomore. He's only had a handful of games now with Mac Jones in the NFL. Really got his chance to shine, made the most of all his opportunities. He's sitting in the pocket, making the most of everything he's done. I think ultimately he's going to lead this team to success. They lost earlier in the year, but they've rebounded nicely, still scoring a ton of points. I think ultimately Alabama has the Heisman as of right now. Now, saying that, there's also a lot of really good candidates as we see from the graphics. So what does he have to do to keep that? I think it's just consistency. We've seen a lot of teams jump up, then fall down. We've seen a lot of teams just fall in general. So I think ultimately the biggest thing he has to do is stay consistent. Keep racking up the yards, keep racking up the touchdowns, get these big wins in the SEC. I think that'll be enough to win the award, and ultimately it's his race to lose right now. He's his own biggest competition. I mean, you said it best, Eric. I mean, currently he's working at plus 150, the favorite for the Heisman, and it's no surprise, he's at Alabama, he has Nick Saban, and he has a long lineage of Heisman caliber talent at the quarterback position, dating all the way back to A.J. McCarron in 2012 and 2013. I mean, he's carrying on that legacy pretty well. Over 2,400 passing yards, which ranks sixth nationally. However, his mobility is in question. Only 40 yards rushing, and so far he just needs to have that pocket move in his favor. He needs to scramble out and throw on the run, and I think that opens up the playbook immensely. And with that, he could really separate himself from the field. AJ McCarron is not a name I've heard since probably seventh grade, so that took me a blast to the past for a little bit. And we obviously have guys like Matt Corral and Ole Miss, uh, Desmond Ritter in Cincinnati, Heck, early in the season, I heard some Jack Cohn conversation getting thrown in there. I know Eric's laughing at me, but that's the reality in the delusion of Notre Dame fans. That being said, who is one dark horse, X-Factor quarterback, that could really overtake this race and solidify himself as the number one guy, best player in college football? Eric? Well, you just said his name is Desmond Ritter, and if you would have told me that we'd be talking about the Cincinnati Bearcats this late in the season, I would have been surprised because who have been the dynasties? Alabama, Clemson, those are the teams you always talk about, Bryce Young being part of that dynasty. Instead, you have Cincinnati, they're the number two team in the country, and that's just a testament to how good Desmond Ritter's been. No matter what you do, you can't get rid of this guy, pun intended. Desmond Ritter is here to stay, and it doesn't look like he's going away anytime soon. But ultimately, even though he's leading the number two team in the country, he's not the favorite, and there's two main reasons why. Number one, just 15 passing touchdowns. Guys, if we're competing against him, we have zero touchdowns collectively. We're not beating him out for the Heisman. Bryce Young is 26, he's going to beat him out in that category. And on the second hand, they're not playing that quality competition. Notre Dame's a great win, but that's it. They're not playing anybody else the rest of the season that's really that good. And also, they only beat Navy last week by a touchdown. You should be beating Navy by a little bit more than that if you're going to team team country. So I think ultimately Desmond Ritter has to keep it up and keep excelling, but I don't think he'll be able to play at a level that'll overpass Bryce Young. But in the end, still a pretty good season for a team that probably shouldn't be number two in a normal season. Yeah, and speaking of good seasons, why don't we head to the Steel City? where Pitt Panther quarterback Kenny Pickett is having a career season. 23 touchdowns and one interception to his name. And why don't we look at last week? Over 300 yards passing, and he beat Clemson at home by 10 points. Three quarterbacks have done that since. Jameis Winston, Joe Burrow, and Justin Fields. All three have been finalists for the Heisman, two of them taking home the award as well. So he's leading Pitt into a great direction, the top of the ACC Coastal Division. And looking at their schedule, they got a pretty clear road ahead with two tests coming up. The North Carolina Tar Heels and the Virginia Cavaliers. If he can breeze by those two teams easily, it's, good. it's a clear path to the ACC Championship game where they'll most likely play against Wake Forest. And if he does well consistently down the line, he's going to be Pitt's first Heisman winner since Tony Dorsett in 1976. And as a Penn State fan, it hurts my heart to think about the thought of a Pitt Panther taking over the Heisman <laughs> Trophy, but that's my own personal bias aside. And that does it all here on Penn State Sports Night. For John Drager and Eric Fenstermaker, I'm Matt McLaughlin. Thank you for watching, and as, as always, let's enjoy some college football.
Thank you for watching this edition of Penn State Sports Night. If you're a fan of our content, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more clips. Also, follow us on Twitter at PSSN TV and on Instagram at PSU Sports Night to keep up with all the action. For all my colleagues, we are Penn State Sports Night.